Art historian Professor Nicholas Allen has a radical theory about the Turin Shroud, that it is actually the world's first photograph. His theory is controversial because it doesn't just change the way we think about this artifact, it also pushes back the invention of photography by 500 years. We know that there were no photographs taken in the Middle Ages. I thought to myself, well, maybe we are wrong about the levels of technology in the Middle Ages. And I thought that I wasn't going to be able to find any evidence to support this, at the time, crazy notion that perhaps somebody knew about photographic technology back in the 13th or maybe early 14th century. And what amazed me more was the fact that there is an abundance of evidence to show it. The first challenge in photography is creating a place where your image will appear. Today, it's the sensor in your digital camera. Before that, it was film. And before that, there was an ancient way of projecting an image onto a wall, known as a camera obscura. One of the oldest references to this phenomenon of the camera obscura is, in fact, in the writings of Plato, who discussed the condition of sitting in a cave and seeing the the shadows of the outside world forming inverted on the back of the cave wall. And he used it as a metaphor for understanding reality. But what he's also describing, of course, are the workings of a very primitive camera obscura. The trick of the camera obscura would certainly have been known in Europe in the 14th century. Okay, now I'm inside a camera obscura. And as you can see, there's a very small aperture here, yeah, which means very small amount of light is entering the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this lens over the aperture to focus the light into the room. And yes, now we have a very nice, sharp image. But is this too advanced for a medieval forgery? Not according to Allen. We know that spectacles were first used in Italy and if the account is correct, they must have been invented somewhere in the late 1270s, 1280s in Pisa, in Italy. Even the word lens tells us something about the origins of lenses, because lens comes from the Italian word for a lentil, because they didn't have a word for a lens in Europe at that time. So the technology to focus light into a sharp image might have been available to a medieval artist. <laughs> 